Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Cosmic Kaleidoscope, a science and science fiction series directed by Paul Griffiths for Ormeo Radio. I'm your host, Fiona Arikit, and today, we embark on the second episode of our extraordinary journey into the microcosmic world of the Tardigrade Revolution. In our first episode, we explored the remarkable partnership between humans and tardigrades, the microscopic creatures that have become instrumental in the creation of quantum computers and pocket nuclear reactors. We delved into their unique abilities, their thriving civilization, and the bond that binds them with their human counterparts. Today, we continue our exploration by venturing deeper into the daily life of a tardigrade production line worker. We'll discover the intricacies of their existence, their role in the grand scheme of things, and the breathtaking technological wonders that surround them. So, without further ado, let's step into the microscopic city where these tiny creatures toil tirelessly, guided by innovation and driven by curiosity. Join me as we unveil the second episode of The Tardigrade Revolution, a story of science, collaboration, and the boundless potential that lies within the nanoscale universe. In the microscopic city where the tardigrades reside, the sun's rays slowly filter in, casting a warm and gentle glow on the futuristic habitat of a tardigrade worker, whom we affectionately call Tardy. Tardy's habitat is a marvel of present-day miniaturized luxury, a testament to the care and dedication of the scientists who have provided for these remarkable microscopic beings. The habitat's walls are crafted from transparent nanofibers, an advanced material that both shields and allows the soothing light to permeate. A plush bed of meticulously maintained moss covers the habitat's floor, offering unparalleled comfort to its inhabitants. A crystal clear droplet of water glistens in one corner, a daily reminder of the scientist's commitment to TARDIS well-being. At the heart of TARDIS habitat lies a cutting-edge monitoring system. Tiny sensors and cameras seamlessly blend into the environment, relaying real-time data to the human monitoring and production supervisors. In this present-day world, Scientists watch over the tardigrades with unwavering diligence, ensuring their health, safety, and productivity. A state-of-the-art feedback system enables fluid communication between the tardigrades and their human counterparts. Should tardy or any fellow worker encounter challenges or require assistance, they can simply activate the communication interface. This two-way link fosters deep understanding and cooperation between the microscopic labor force and their macroscopic overseers. Tardy begins their day with a nutritious meal of microalgae, delivered via an automated feeder calibrated to perfection. In this present-day reality, the scientists have fine-tuned every aspect of the tardigrades' lives, ensuring their sustenance and productivity are optimized. Tardy sat in their cozy habitat, gazing at the vibrant bed of moss beneath them. It had been a while since the new moss had been introduced to their microscopic city, and it had quickly become a topic of fascination and conversation among the tardigrades. Their friend, Tilda, scuttled over, her tiny form a mirror of excitement. Tardy, she chirped, have you seen the new moss? It's incredible. Tardy nodded, a grin forming on their face. Oh, I've seen it, Tilda. It's like a miniature forest down there. I can't get enough of it. Tilda's eyes sparkled with agreement. I know, right? It's so lush and green, and it feels so soft against your little legs. I could spend hours just lounging on it. Tardy chuckled, their enthusiasm matching Tilda's. And it's not just about comfort. The new moss has made her habitats even cozier. It's like having a piece of nature right in her homes. Tilda nodded in agreement. Exactly. It's a reminder of the beautiful world we live in, even though we're so small. Tardy paused for a moment. Lost in thought. You know, Tilda, it's not just about the moss. It's about how much your community cares for us. They went out of their way to make your lives even better. Tilda's eyes softened. You're absolutely right, Tardy. We're so fortunate to have such caring partners in our human counterparts. It's a true collaboration. As they continued to chat about the moss and the many other wonders of their microscopic world, Tardy and Tilda shared a profound appreciation for the kindness and ingenuity that had brought their miniature city to life. It was a reminder that even in the tiniest of scales, the bonds of community and the beauty of nature could be celebrated and cherished. As Tardy enjoys their meal, they engage in lively conversation with fellow tardigrade neighbors. 
They discuss plans for the day ahead, sharing excitement about their upcoming work at the Quantum Fabrication Center. Stories of last night's VR adventures circulate, each tale more thrilling than the last. TARDIS personal VR headset rests nearby, a constant invitation to explore, relax, and escape into a virtual world of wonder. In this present day, it's not just a form of relaxation, it's a portal to endless exploration and imagination, a well-deserved reward for a day's diligent work. Here are three games that tardigrades enjoy playing in the virtual reality. VR World 1. Nanoscape Adventure In Nanoscape Adventure, tardigrades can explore a vibrant, nanoscale world filled with microscopic wonders. They can traverse intricate landscapes, solve puzzles, and embark on quests to uncover the secrets of the quantum realm. The game's immersive VR environment allows tardigrades to experience the thrill of discovery on a miniature scale. 2. Starship Tardigrade Starship Tardigrade is an interstellar VR game where tardigrades pilot their own spacecraft through the cosmos. They can engage in space battles, navigate asteroid fields, and visit distant planets. The game offers both thrilling action and serene exploration, providing a diverse gaming experience for tardigrades. 3. Virtual Tardigrade Olympics Tardigrades are known for their resilience and adaptability, and in the Virtual Tardigrade Olympics, they can put their skills to the test. This VR sports game features various mini-games and challenges that highlight the Tardigrade's agility and determination. Whether it's sprinting, obstacle courses, or even underwater races, Tardigrades can compete and aim for gold in this virtual sports extravaganza. With their breakfast completed and plans set, Tardy prepares for the work day ahead, fully aware that their role in assembling quantum components for supercomputers is both a privilege and a responsibility. The microscopic city of Tardigrades continues to hum with present-day activity, each member contributing to a revolution that holds the promise of shaping the future. With their morning routines completed, Tardy embarks on the next leg of their journey making their way to the high-tech transportation tube that will whisk them away to the supercomputer production facility. This tube, an intricate marvel of miniaturized engineering, is a testament to the union between tardigrade ingenuity and human innovation. As Tardy steps into the tube, a sense of anticipation fills the air. The walls of the tube are transparent, offering an astonishing view of the micro-world outside. The sight that unfolds is nothing short of breathtaking. Giant water molecules, each resembling colossal icebergs, drift gracefully by. These molecules are a living testament to the vast ocean that surrounds the city, sustaining life for millions of tardigrades, both scientists and laborers alike. Beyond the water molecules, Tardy catches a glimpse of the sprawling city that houses these millions of tardigrades. It's a dynamic mix of human-provided materials and basic structures, fused with the innovation of a species that has risen to newfound intelligence, the tardigrades. The city's intricate architecture, once inspired by human designs, has evolved over time to cater to the unique needs and abilities of its microscopic inhabitants. Tarda's journey through the tube is nothing short of mesmerizing. The ever-changing scenery outside the transparent walls serves as a constant reminder of the symbiotic relationship between tardigrades and humans. These tiny workers, whose skills are honed to perfection, play an integral role in shaping the future of technology and science. Arriving at the supercomputer production facility, Tardy joins a team of skilled tardigrade workers, each specialized in their unique tasks. It's a seamless symphony of tiny creatures working in harmony driven by purpose and precision. TARDIS role today is crucial, as they prepare to connect tiny circuits within the supercomputer, a task that requires the utmost accuracy and finesse. The facility is a hive of activity, with tardigrades diligently assembling components, performing quality checks, and ensuring that every detail is attended to with care. Advanced micro-robotic assistants, designed by humans, buzz about, ensuring that everything runs smoothly and efficiently. These robotic helpers are a testament to the collaborative effort between species, blending the best of both worlds to achieve remarkable results. As Tardy takes their place in the assembly line, they reflect on the journey that has brought them here, the journey from a humble habitat to a vital cog in the grand machine of innovation. In this microscopic world, where giants are measured in water molecules and cities are forged from the synergy of two species, 
Tardy knows that their role is not only significant but also essential in propelling science and technology into the future. Within the bustling supercomputer production facility, where Tardy and their fellow Tardigrades diligently assemble the intricate components of the future's quantum computers, there is a remarkable tale of innovation and education. Some Tardigrades, driven by a desire to excel and contribute more to their microscopic society, have taken on a special role as educators. These well-educated tardigrades, guided by the vision of the Tardy Council, have established schools within the microscopic city. These schools are a testament to the extraordinary partnership between tardigrades and humans, designed to cultivate a new generation of skilled workers, capable of crafting quantum computers and components for pocket nuclear reactors with unparalleled precision. In these schools, young tardigrades are taught the art of nanotechnology, quantum mechanics, and all the specialized skills needed for their roles in the advanced production facilities. The educators, themselves well versed in these subjects, dedicate their time to ensuring that knowledge is passed down seamlessly. To instill a sense of unity and gratitude within the young minds, the Tardy Council has introduced an anthem, a melody that resonates with both tardigrades and their human partners. It's a short but heartfelt composition, derived from the musical styles of their human collaborators, designed to convey admiration and gratitude for the immense support and knowledge shared. In the land of tiny wonders, we stand so small yet strong, side by side with giants, where we truly do belong. With knowledge as our beacon, and unity our song, together we'll create a future, where we all truly belong. Oh, we're the tardigrades, so small and yet so grand, with humans by our side, we'll build a better land. Innovation in our hearts, our dreams tightly in hand, together we will reach heights that we could never have planned. This anthem echoes through the microscopic city, sung with pride and gratitude by tardigrades of all ages. It's a reminder of the remarkable journey they've embarked upon, guided by the wisdom of their elders, the innovation of their educators, and the unwavering support of their human partners. In the micro world where giant molecules drift by like icebergs, a harmonious bond between species flourishes, propelling them toward an extraordinary future. As the hours ticked away in the supercomputer production facility, Tardy and their fellow Tardigrade colleagues continued their meticulous work. The advanced micro-robotic assistants hummed with precision, ensuring that every component was assembled flawlessly. The environment buzzed with activity, a testament to the dedication and expertise of the microscopic workers. But now, the mid-morning sun shone brighter through the transparent walls of the facility, casting a gentle glow on the bustling assembly floor. It was time for Tardy and their colleagues to take a well-deserved break and refuel with lunch. Tardy carefully set aside their work, making sure to inform their team about the status of the assembly. With their exosuit neatly hung up and their specialized tools stored away, Tardy joined the stream of tardigrades heading toward the facility's common area, where lunch was served. The common area was a hub of activity, with colleagues mingling and sharing stories from their morning's work. Tiny plates held servings of nutrient-rich microalgae and other delectable offerings, all perfectly portioned to provide the energy needed for the rest of the day. Tardy found a cozy spot among their friends and neighbors, exchanging smiles and pleasantries. The conversations ranged from the intricacies of their work to the remarkable luxury of their microscopic world. Tardy's colleagues recounted tales of the breathtaking gems and metals that adorned their cities, the high-tech travel systems that whisked them around, and the unparalleled entertainment that awaited during leisure hours. As they enjoyed their meal, Tardy couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude for the opportunities this microscopic world had provided. They were not just diligent workers, they were vital contributors to a thriving, intelligent community. The partnership between tardigrades and humans had not only elevated their world to unprecedented levels of sophistication but had also brought unity and progress to their lives. Tardigrades, like any creatures, have their preferences when it comes to food. Here are some of their favorite foods. 1. Microalgae. Microalgae is a staple in the tardigrade diet. These tiny, Plant-like organisms provide essential nutrients and serve as a primary source of sustenance for the microscopic creatures. 2. Moss and Lichen Tardigrades have a fondness for moss and lichen. These miniature plants not only provide nourishment but also create cozy habitats within the tardigrade city. 3. Microscopic Plankton 
Microscopic plankton, teeming with life in their world, are a favored delicacy among tardigrades. They are rich in nutrients and offer a diverse range of flavors. 4. Nano-sized nutrient solutions. Tardigrades appreciate nutrient solutions designed specifically for their needs. These solutions are meticulously crafted to provide a well-balanced diet, ensuring their health and vitality. 5. Human-provided food. Tardigrades also enjoy some of the provisions delivered by their human partners. These include tiny servings of fruits, vegetables, and other human-scale food items thoughtfully provided to enrich their diet. 6. Specialized nano-food. In their advanced civilization, tardigrades have developed specialized nano-foods tailored to their unique requirements. These foods are often designed to enhance their resilience and adaptability. While these are some of their favorite foods, tardigrades are known for their ability to adapt to various diets and conditions. Their resilience allows them to thrive on a diverse range of microscopic sustenance, ensuring their survival in the nano-world they call home. In the bustling heart of the tardigrade city, the provision of sustenance was a harmonious blend of human generosity and tardigrade ingenuity. The miniature metropolis was a place where even the tiniest acts of kindness reverberated through their community. At the heart of this arrangement was the input port, a portal through which humans delivered supplies, including food, into the city. It was a lifeline that connected two worlds, fostering cooperation and unity. Once the provisions arrived, the tardigrades took up the noble responsibility of distribution. Priority was given to the diligent workers who had opted to pay for their meals as a token of appreciation for the sustenance provided by their human counterparts. It was a gesture that reinforced the spirit of collaboration. However, the tardigrades' sense of compassion extended far beyond the workers. They had a carefully designed system in place to ensure that no one went hungry in their microscopic society. Tardigrades who were engaged in education, whether it was in the nanotechnology facilities or tardigrade schools, were given access to nutritious meals, recognizing the importance of nourishment for intellectual growth. For those who found themselves living in the shadows of prosperity, struggling to make ends meet, a network of support was established. Food distribution was organized systematically, ensuring that the vulnerable members of the community received their fair share. Remarkably, both tardigrades and tardigrade robots played a role in the distribution process. The tardigrade robots, equipped with advanced AI, were instrumental in coordinating the logistics and ensuring that food reached every corner of the city efficiently. In this miniature world, the collaboration between humans and tardigrades was more than just about technology and innovation. It was a partnership that extended to the very essence of humanity, the care and compassion for one another. It was a testament to the profound sense of community that defined the tardigrade city, where no one was left behind, and the spirit of togetherness prevailed. After lunch, Tardy would return to their role on the assembly line, ready to continue crafting the quantum computers that held the key to an extraordinary future. But for now, in this mid-morning interlude, they savored the sense of fulfillment and camaraderie that permeated their microscopic society, taking a moment to appreciate the remarkable journey they had embarked upon. Back on the production line, Tardy resumed their role with precision and dedication. The afternoon hours unfolded in a meticulously controlled environment, designed to ensure the utmost comfort for the tardigrade workers. The artificial lighting above mimicked the sun's warmth, bathing the assembly floor in a soft, golden glow. The microscopic world of the tardigrades, although entirely human-engineered, had managed to capture the essence of nature's beauty. The play of light and shadow created an atmosphere that was both serene and invigorating, enhancing the tardigrades' focus on their intricate tasks. Amidst the gentle ambience, a subtle hum of soothing music filled the air. The notes, composed with the utmost care by humans, resonated through the facility. The melodies were chosen to calm the tardigrades' senses, creating a harmonious backdrop for their work. It was a testament to the thoughtful consideration that went into every aspect of their microscopic world. Tardy and their colleagues continued their intricate tasks, collaborating seamlessly with the advanced micro-robotic assistants. Each tardigrade's role was essential, and their expertise was honed to perfection. The assembly line moved with remarkable efficiency, a testament to the extraordinary partnership between tardigrades and humans. As the afternoon wore on, 
the sense of accomplishment and purpose continued to grow. Tardy knew that the quantum components they were assembling would pave the way for unprecedented advances in science and technology. Their tiny hands played a pivotal role in building supercomputers capable of unraveling the mysteries of the universe. In this microscopic world of precision and innovation, tardigrades thrived, embracing the opportunities provided by their human partners. The afternoon pressed on, each moment a reminder of the remarkable journey they had embarked upon together. Tardy and their fellow tardigrades worked tirelessly, driven by the knowledge that their dedication would shape the future and redefine the boundaries of what was possible in their miniature yet extraordinary world. Tardy and their fellow tardigrades were perfect candidates for working on the nanoscale technology that had become the cornerstone of their microscopic civilization. There were several reasons why tardigrades were uniquely suited for this role. 1. Size and Precision Tardigrades, with their minuscule size and incredible precision, were ideal for working with components at the nano level. Their specialized exosuits allowed them to manipulate tiny structures with unparalleled accuracy, ensuring that quantum components were assembled flawlessly. 2. Resilience Tardigrades were renowned for their exceptional resilience. They could withstand extreme conditions, such as radiation and extreme temperatures, which were often encountered in the production of quantum components. This resilience reduced the risk of damage to these delicate materials. 3. Steady hands. Tardigrades possessed steady, dexterous limbs, making them well suited for intricate tasks. Whether connecting tiny circuits or aligning quantum components, their tiny appendages were perfect for the job. 4. Teamwork and collaboration. Tardigrades were highly social creatures that worked well together. Their ability to cooperate seamlessly with one another and with advanced micro-robotic assistance streamlined the assembly process, ensuring efficiency and accuracy. 5. Adaptability Tardigrades had a remarkable ability to adapt to different tasks. They could be trained and educated, allowing them to continually improve their skills in nanoscale technology and stay up to date with the latest advancements. On the other side of this partnership, Humans had invested significantly in advancing nanoscale technology and high-tech devices, such as pocket nuclear reactors. Their endeavors were driven by a shared vision of progress and the pursuit of knowledge. Here are some of the key factors that motivated humans to invest so heavily. 1. Scientific discovery. Nanoscale technology held the promise of unlocking new frontiers in science and technology. Humans were driven by curiosity seeking to understand the fundamental laws of the universe and harness them for the benefit of all. 2. Energy Solutions Pocket nuclear reactors represented a groundbreaking solution to the world's energy needs. With a nearly limitless source of clean and efficient power, these devices promised to revolutionize energy production on a global scale, reducing reliance on fossil fuels. 3. Sustainability Humans recognized the urgent need to address environmental concerns, and the development of advanced technologies like pocket nuclear reactors was a step towards a more sustainable future. They endeavored to reduce their carbon footprint and mitigate the impact of climate change. 4. Collaboration Humans understood the value of collaboration with other intelligent species. They saw the potential for mutual benefit and innovation by working alongside tardigrades, leveraging the unique skills and abilities of these microscopic partners. Through dedication, innovation, and unwavering commitment, the partnership between humans and tardigrades had yielded remarkable advancements in nanoscale technology. The microscopic world was a testament to what could be achieved when two intelligent species joined forces to push the boundaries of science and technology, ultimately shaping a future filled with possibilities and discoveries yet to be imagined. As the tardigrades diligently continued their work on the assembly line, a sudden interruption startled them. The soothing music that had filled the air throughout the day was replaced by an unexpected announcement. The speakers crackled to life, and the voice of a tardigrade ambassador, a respected figure in their microscopic society, resonated through the facility. Attention, dear tardigrades, the ambassador began, their voice filled with excitement and warmth. I have an important announcement to make. Tardy and their colleagues paused in their tasks, curiosity piqued by the unexpected interruption. The ambassador's presence signaled that this was no ordinary message. We are delighted to inform you that, 
In recognition of your exceptional dedication and contribution to our microscopic society, each and every one of you will receive a well-deserved pair eyes. The announcement sent ripples of joy through the assembly floor. Tardy and their fellow tardigrades couldn't contain their excitement. They cheered and celebrated, their tiny voices ringing out in jubilation. The news of the pair eyes was met with gratitude and applause. It was a testament to the appreciation and respect that the tardigrade workforce had earned through their unwavering commitment to advancing science and technology. The announcement served as a reminder of the harmonious partnership between tardigrades and humans, where accomplishments were recognized and rewarded. With renewed enthusiasm, Tardy and their colleagues returned to their tasks, knowing that their efforts were not only valued but also rewarded. The workday was drawing to a close, but the tardigrades approached the remaining hours with a sense of fulfillment and anticipation. In the heart of the microscopic city, within the intricate web of the supercomputer production facility, the nanoscale components came to life with astonishing precision. The tardigrades, in their vital roles as production line workers, orchestrated this symphony of miniature marvels. 1. The nano template falls. It all began when the nano template, a minute but critical piece of the puzzle, descended from its tiny storage chamber above. This template was a work of engineering artistry, designed to guide the formation of quantum components with utmost accuracy. 2. The micro furnace comes to life. As the nano template fell into place, a micro furnace, scarcely larger than a speck of dust, sprang to life. Within its confines, it held liquid gold, a material so precious and rare on the micro scale that even a single gram could transform the fortunes of the tardigrade city. 3. Liquid gold readied for pouring. The liquid gold, heated to the exact temperature needed for precision work, shimmered like a molten gem. It was poised and ready for the next step, a testament to the tardigrade's mastery of nanoscale technology. 4. Guidance from the tardigrades. Tardigrades, with their agile and delicate limbs, guided the liquid gold into place with unparalleled precision. Their microscopic expertise ensured that every drop was precisely where it needed to be, forming the foundation of the quantum components. 5. Nano-sized circuit boards emerge. With the liquid gold in place, the nano-sized circuit boards began to take shape. These minuscule wonders, smaller than a grain of sand, held the power to process quantum information and drive the supercomputers of the future. Tardigrades worked tirelessly, ensuring that each circuit board was flawlessly formed. 6. Drying for the next stage. As the circuit boards emerged from their delicate birthing process, they were carefully placed in an environment where they could dry and set. The tardigrades monitored the conditions with precision, ensuring that each component was perfect before moving on to the next stage of production. In this microscopic world, every step of the production line was a testament to the meticulous craftsmanship of both tardigrades and humans. It was a partnership where innovation met dedication, and where the tiniest of components held the promise of a future shaped by quantum computing and clean energy, all brought to life by the extraordinary abilities of the tardigrades. As the afternoon sun cast a warm glow over the assembly floor, the tardigrades worked together, their synchronized efforts a testament to their unity and shared purpose. The microscopic world was alive with energy and camaraderie, a reflection of the extraordinary journey they had embarked upon. With the promise of an evening of relaxation and entertainment ahead, Tardy and their fellow tardigrades continued their work, eager to complete their tasks and savor the joys of their well-earned rewards. Even as Tardy enjoyed a rich and fulfilling life in the microscopic world, it was impossible to ignore the stark contrast that existed within their bustling city. While many tardigrades thrived in the lap of luxury, there were millions who lived on the fringes of society, struggling to make ends meet. The Tardy Council, in its wisdom, had set recommendations for a livable income, acknowledging that all members of their microscopic community should have access to the essentials of life. However, Despite their best efforts to ensure equitable distribution of wealth, disparities persisted. It became evident that within the Tardy Council, as well as among certain sects and even some Tardisopians, the allure of wealth and power had taken precedence over the principle of shared prosperity. Greed had seeped into the hearts of a few, leading to the concentration of resources among the privileged few while leaving others to struggle. These disparities were a source of concern for many, 
including Tardy and their like-minded colleagues who recognized the importance of unity and fairness. They believed that the microscopic society should be a model of collaboration and mutual support, where every tardigrade had the opportunity to flourish. Efforts were made to address this issue, with calls for greater transparency and accountability within the Tardy Council. Discussions were held to find ways to bridge the wealth gap and ensure that all tardigrades had access to the benefits of their advanced civilization. Despite these challenges, the spirit of cooperation endured among many tardigrades, who continued to work toward a more equitable society. They believed that the true strength of their world lay in their unity and shared values, and they remained determined to uphold those principles, even in the face of greed and inequality. As the afternoon sun dipped lower on the horizon, casting a golden hue over the city, Tardy and their colleagues were reminded that their microscopic world, like any society, had its flaws and challenges. But they remained committed to the pursuit of a fair and just society, where every tardigrade had the opportunity to live a fulfilling and prosperous life. In the heart of the microscopic city, where tardigrades and humans toiled side by side in their shared quest for scientific advancement, there existed a unique and wondrous creation, robot tardigrades. These robot tardigrades were a testament to the ingenuity of human engineers and the spirit of collaboration that defined this extraordinary partnership. They were crafted to mimic the appearance and movements of their living tardigrade counterparts, but beneath their tiny exosuits lay an intricate network of advanced robotics and artificial intelligence. Each robot tardigrade was a marvel of miniaturized engineering. Their exosuits, meticulously designed, were so lifelike that it was often challenging to distinguish them from real tardigrades. Their tiny legs, equipped with precision actuators, moved with the same grace and agility as their biological counterparts. Even their demeanor mirrored that of living tardigrades, as they interacted with their fellow tardigrades on the supercomputer production line. What truly set these robot tardigrades apart, however, was their artificial intelligence. Imbued with sophisticated algorithms, they possessed an innate understanding of quantum mechanics and nanoscale technology. This knowledge allowed them to teach and guide their tardigrade companions in the intricate art of assembling supercomputers and quantum components. The robot tardigrades served as mentors and educators to the tardigrades, patiently guiding them through the intricacies of their tasks. They could communicate seamlessly with their living counterparts, providing real-time feedback and assistance to ensure that each quantum component was assembled flawlessly. Moreover, these remarkable robots were not just autonomous educators. They could also be controlled by humans through a virtual reality interface. Human operators donned specialized VR headsets, allowing them to step into the shoes of a robot tardigrade, experiencing the microscopic world from a unique perspective. In the virtual realm, human operators could observe the supercomputer production process up close, interact with their tardigrade colleagues, and guide the robots with precision. This direct interface facilitated a deeper level of cooperation and understanding between humans and tardigrades, forging an unbreakable bond that transcended the boundaries of scale. The robot tardigrades were not just machines, they were emissaries of knowledge and cooperation. They represented the fusion of human and tardigrade expertise, creating a bridge between two intelligent species in their quest to unlock the secrets of the nanoscale universe. In the microscopic city, they stood as living proof that when different worlds came together, the possibilities were limitless, and the future was filled with boundless potential. With the workday coming to a close, Tardy left the production facility behind and made their way back to their cozy habitat. Upon arrival, they were greeted by a luxurious bath in a droplet of purified water. This bath was not only a cleansing ritual but also a rejuvenating experience, soothing both body and mind. Tardy allowed themselves to fully relax, immersing in the crystal clear water that enveloped them. The droplet was equipped with advanced biometric sensors that ensured the water was at the perfect temperature and pH level to suit their individual needs. It was a testament to the meticulous care that humans had taken in creating this microscopic world. Emerging from their bath, Tardy felt refreshed and invigorated, ready to embrace the evening's activities. They settled into their comfy bed which was a marvel of micro-engineering, designed to provide the ultimate in comfort for tardigrade occupants. Evening was a time for relaxation and recreation. Tardy often indulged in their personal virtual reality headset, 
an advanced piece of technology that allowed them to explore a vast array of fantastic worlds. In the virtual realm, they could soar through the skies, traverse alien landscapes, and embark on adventures limited only by their imagination. But virtual reality was not just about solitary exploration. Tardy had the opportunity to interact with a diverse community of VR users, a mix of tardigrades and humans. In this shared digital space, they could socialize, collaborate on creative projects, or simply enjoy each other's company. It was a reflection of the close bond that had formed between the two intelligent species. One of Tarda's favorite virtual activities was to visit serene VR gardens. These digital oases were places of tranquility and meditation, where the stresses of the day could be left behind. The calming environments were a testament to the thoughtful design of their microscopic world, where every aspect of life was tailored to ensure the well-being and contentment of its inhabitants. As Tardy settled into their evening routine, they reflected on the remarkable journey that had brought them to this point. In the peaceful moments of the evening, surrounded by the wonders of virtual reality, they knew that they were not only living a life of luxury and innovation but also contributing to a harmonious partnership between two intelligent species. It was a partnership built on trust, cooperation, and a shared vision of a better future. As the tiny tardigrade city settled into the stillness of night, a sense of tranquility enveloped Tarda's habitat. The artificial lighting gently dimmed, mimicking the natural transition from day to night in their microscopic world. Tardy, nestled in their comfy bed of moss, felt a profound sense of contentment and fulfillment. Another productive day had drawn to a close, leaving them with a heart full of gratitude for the opportunities that had been bestowed upon them. With a satisfied sigh, Tardy allowed the soothing melodies of the microscopic night to lull them into a peaceful slumber. In the realm of dreams, they envisioned new adventures, exciting challenges, and the boundless possibilities of their unique and vibrant world. As they drifted deeper into sleep, Tardy couldn't help but reflect on the kindness and abundance provided by their human counterparts. It was this partnership, built on trust and collaboration, that had allowed them to flourish in ways they could have never imagined. In the silence of the night, as millions of tardigrades slumbered in their tiny habitats throughout the city, Tarda's dreams echoed with the promise of a tomorrow filled with discovery and innovation. Their microscopic world, a testament to the extraordinary potential of cooperation and unity, held a bright and limitless future that awaited them when the sun's rays would once again grace their miniature city. In the tranquil and minuscule world of the tardigrades, where even the laws of quantum physics manifested in remarkable ways, the night brought with it a unique phenomenon. Ethereal and elusive, quantum dream glitch-like holograms danced through the microscopic city. These holograms, born of the intricacies of quantum mechanics, defied traditional understanding. They were ephemeral visions that seemed to shimmer in and out of existence, carrying with them the echoes of untold possibilities. Tardy had often marveled at their beauty, their ever-shifting forms creating a mesmerizing display in the moonlight. However, these holograms weren't just spectacles of light and color. They were glimpses into the quantum realm, where the fabric of reality itself seemed to waver. While they held the allure of the unknown, these holograms also posed a unique challenge to the tardigrades' peaceful nights. To protect their peaceful slumber, the tardigrades had ingeniously devised a grand dream catcher system. Throughout the microscopic city, dream catchers were strategically set up to intercept and capture these quantum dream glitch-like holograms. Each dream catcher was a marvel of micro-engineering, carefully crafted from the tiniest of materials. They featured intricate webs of nanofibers, each strand expertly designed to trap and contain the elusive holograms. As the holograms meandered through the night, they would inadvertently become entangled in the dream catcher's delicate webs. The dream catchers served not only as a means of safeguarding the tardigrade's peaceful rest but also as a form of entertainment. In the morning, the captured holograms would be carefully examined, their unique patterns and quantum properties studied by curious tardigrades and their human partners alike. For Tardy, the sight of these dream catchers was a reminder of the remarkable blend of science and innovation that defined their microscopic world. As they drifted off to sleep, they felt a sense of security, knowing that their dreams would be free from the whimsical dances of quantum holograms, captured in awaiting exploration in the light of day. From a human perspective, 
The setup in the lab where tardigrades diligently worked on the production of components for quantum computers and pocket nuclear reactors was a marvel of precision and sophistication. The lab was a controlled environment, meticulously designed to facilitate the seamless collaboration between humans and tardigrades on a scale that was both groundbreaking and awe-inspiring. 1. Advanced Monitoring Systems the lab was equipped with an array of advanced monitoring systems that allowed human supervisors to keep a watchful eye on every aspect of the tardigrades' work. Tiny cameras and sensors were strategically placed throughout the facility to provide real-time feedback and data. 2. Microscopic Production Lines The heart of the lab was the microscopic production lines where Tardy and their tardigrade colleagues performed their intricate tasks. These production lines were an amalgamation of human-engineered precision machinery and the dexterity of tardigrades. The components being produced were smaller than a grain of sand but held the potential to provide a lifetime of energy for a human. 3. Biometric Sensors and Environmental Control The lab maintained strict control over environmental conditions. Temperature, humidity, and other parameters were meticulously regulated to ensure the tardigrades' comfort and productivity. Biometric sensors continuously monitored the well-being of tardigrades, ensuring they were healthy and thriving. 4. Collaborative Workstations Human supervisors worked side by side with their tardigrade counterparts, each stationed at collaborative workstations that allowed for efficient communication and coordination. The workstations were equipped with microscopes and tools specially designed for microscopic work. 5. Feedback and Communication Interface a state-of-the-art communication interface allowed humans and tardigrades to exchange information and feedback in real time. This interface ensured that any issues or questions that arose during the production process could be addressed promptly, facilitating a smooth workflow. 6. Safety Protocols Strict safety protocols were in place to protect both tardigrades and human workers. These protocols included containment measures to prevent contamination, emergency response procedures, and fail-safe mechanisms to ensure the well-being of all involved. 7. Collaborative Research Areas Beyond the production lines, the lab featured collaborative research areas where scientists from both species worked together to push the boundaries of nanoscale technology. This was a space for innovation and experimentation, where breakthroughs were made and shared knowledge flourished. From the human perspective, the lab was a testament to the remarkable achievements that had been unlocked through cooperation and ingenuity. It represented the fusion of human and tardigrade expertise, creating a symbiotic relationship that had propelled technology and science into uncharted territories. As humans observed the microscopic city and its inhabitants laboring diligently in their tiny world, they couldn't help but marvel at the intricate dance of cooperation and progress that had transformed their shared vision into a reality. The components produced by Tardy and their tardigrade colleagues were not just tiny in size but held the potential to shape the future of technology and energy generation, a testament to the extraordinary partnership that defined their microscopic world. Let's delve into the details of the delivery and export ports in the lab where humans and tardigrades collaborated on nanoscale technology production. Delivery Port the delivery port was a critical interface through which humans provided resources and materials to the tardigrades. It was an intricately designed gateway that allowed for the precise transfer of microscopic resources into the tardigrade-controlled environment. Here are some key features. 1. Nanotechnology Transfer Mechanism The delivery port featured an advanced nanotechnology transfer mechanism. This mechanism allowed humans to send in materials, whether they were tiny components, raw materials, or even nutrient solutions for the tardigrades. 2. Material Verification Systems Before any material was transferred, it underwent thorough verification. Humans ensured that the materials were of the highest quality and met the specific requirements of the production process. Only after passing rigorous quality checks were the materials allowed to enter the tardigrade-controlled area. 3. Resource Delivery Protocol There was a well-defined protocol for resource delivery. Humans would initiate the process from their side, and the nanotechnology transfer mechanism would carefully transport the materials into the tardigrade workspace. The entire process was meticulously monitored to ensure safety and accuracy. 4. Resource Control Interface 
Human operators had a dedicated interface that allowed them to control the delivery process with precision. They could specify the type and quantity of materials to be delivered, adjusting the flow to match the tardigrade's production pace. Export Port The export port was the counterpart to the delivery port, enabling the seamless transfer of finished nanoscale components from the tardigrade-controlled environment to the human side of the production process. Here's how it worked. 1. Quality Control and Inspection Once the tardigrades had completed their meticulous work, the finished components were subjected to a rigorous quality control and inspection process. Humans, with their specialized equipment, carefully examined each component to ensure it met the highest standards of quality. 2. Export Protocol There was a well-defined export protocol that human operators followed. They initiated the export process, signaling the tardigrades that the components were ready for transfer. This step was essential to maintain the flow of production and ensure that the tardigrades' work was integrated seamlessly into the larger manufacturing process. 3. Microscopic Transport System The export port was equipped with a microscopic transport system that delicately handled the tiny finished components. It allowed for precise, controlled movement of the components from the tardigrade-controlled environment to the human side. 4. Data Transfer and Documentation Throughout the export process, data regarding each component was meticulously recorded. This data included information on quality, specifications, and any additional details that would be essential for the next stage of production. It ensured that the human operators had all the necessary information to proceed. The combination of the delivery and export ports facilitated a highly efficient and collaborative workflow between humans and tardigrades. It allowed for the seamless exchange of materials and finished components, enabling the production of nanoscale technology that held the potential to transform science, technology, and energy generation on a global scale. In the microscopic world of the tardigrade revolution, a profound commitment to ethical principles and the well-being of all inhabitants was at the heart of their civilization. The tardigrade community held a deep reverence for all life from the smallest microbe to the most advanced robotic counterpart. They recognized the importance of diversity and believed that every member of their society, regardless of their role or background, deserved respect and care. Ethical considerations extended to every aspect of their society. 1. Resource Management The Tardy Council carefully managed resources to ensure equitable distribution. While wealth and luxury were celebrated, the community was dedicated to addressing disparities and ensuring that even the most marginalized had access to essentials. 2. Education and Advancement Tardigrades recognized the importance of education in unlocking individual potential. They had set up schools and institutions to equip each member with the skills needed to thrive in their microcosmic world. 3. Environmental Stewardship Despite their microscopic size, Tardigrades were deeply committed to environmental sustainability. They took great care to minimize their impact on the delicate balance of their world. 4. Unity and Collaboration Ethical values of unity and collaboration were woven into the fabric of their society. Tardigrades worked closely with humans, forging bonds built on mutual respect and shared goals. 5. Innovation with Responsibility While they pursued innovation with enthusiasm, Tardigrades were mindful of the potential consequences of their actions. They embraced a sense of responsibility in their pursuit of progress. In the tardigrade community, ethical considerations were not just a set of rules but a way of life. Their commitment to the well-being of all, their dedication to scientific advancement, and their unwavering respect for diversity were emblematic of the values that had led to the success of their microscopic society. In the quiet of the night, Tardy the tardigrade settled into their luxurious pod, a cozy haven designed for the ultimate in relaxation. Tiny and snug, the pod cradled Tardy, enveloping them in warmth and comfort. As Tardy closed their eyes and drifted into the world of dreams, their mind embarked on a fantastical journey through the bustling streets of the tardigrade city. In their dream, Tardy found themselves in a remarkable place, a tardigrade school, where knowledge flowed like the crystal clear water droplets that adorned their city. Tardy was no longer a microscopic production line worker but a curious student eager to learn the secrets of their unique world. The school was unlike anything Tardy had ever imagined. 
The classrooms were filled with tardigrade robots, their robotic exercise seamlessly mimicking the movements of living tardigrades. These robot instructors were animated and engaging, their eye-driven minds brimming with knowledge about nanoscale technology. Tardy was entranced as the robot teachers guided them through the intricate process of creating components for supercomputers. The lessons were a mesmerizing blend of science and art, with the tiny quantum components coming together like pieces of a cosmic puzzle. As the dream continued, Tardy's thoughts ventured into the future of their city. They envisioned a world where wealth and luxury were not confined to a select few but spread throughout their community. In this vision, the streets were paved with shimmering gold, a testament to the prosperity and unity of the tardigrade society. Tardy soared through these golden streets, their tiny body defying gravity as they floated above the marvels of their world. The buildings that lined the streets were adorned with rare gems and precious metals, a testament to the abundance of resources, both microscopic and magnificent. In this dream, Tardy felt a profound sense of hope and optimism. It was a glimpse into a future where the tardigrade revolution had not only unlocked the secrets of nanoscale technology but also paved the way for a harmonious and prosperous society. As dawn's first light began to filter into Tardy's cozy pod, they slowly stirred from their dream, a smile gracing their tiny lips. Though the dream was but a fleeting moment in the night, it left behind a lasting sense of wonder and possibility. Reminding Tardy that the future of their microscopic city held boundless adventures and untold discoveries. In a world so small, where tardigrades reside, a tale unfolds, let secrets not hide. On the production line where nanotech takes flight, tardigrades toil, in the quantum's light. Tardigrade robots, with grace they guide, teaching their kin, side by side. In this microscopic realm, where wonders arise, the bond is strong reaching for the skies. Amidst their dreams, a message of surprise, a pair eyes announced, a joyful sunrise. In unity they cheer, hearts aglow, tardigrades and humans, together they grow. In the city of tardigrades, a whisper takes flight, a revolution stirs, in the depths of the night. Tiny but mighty, they stand side by side, in the face of change, they will not be denied. With knowledge and wisdom, they forge a new way, breaking the chains, to the light of the day. Innovation and progress, their guiding star, the tardigrade revolution, near and far. In unity they gather, their voices are strong, for a world that's more just, where all can belong. They are small but determined, their spirits ignite, the tardigrade revolution, a beacon of light. This has been episode 2 of, The Tardigrade Revolution, a captivating journey into the microcosmic world, Part of the Cosmic Kaleidoscope series directed by Paul Griffiths and narrated by me, Fiona Narakit. Join us again for the next chapter of this extraordinary tale, where science and imagination collide in a universe that knows no bounds. Until then, may your dreams be as boundless as the stars above.